They're tasteless and invisible, but they're forever. The man-made chemicals known as PFAS plague the town of Campbell and other areas around Wisconsin. Now, a Republican-authored Senate bill attempts to put grants toward PFAS testing, but environmental experts say the bill is also going to make it harder for the DNR to enforce clean standards. The bill states the DNR would have more limits on which properties it can test for PFAS. And the DNR also can't prevent or delay any projects based on PFAS contamination unless there are substantial risks. Town of Campbell Board Supervisor Lee Donahue says that's going to block efforts to clean up contaminated areas quickly. And as a representative for a town living off bottled water for years, she says this bill needs more work. And until we stop it at the manufacturing level, we're just playing whack-a-mole, right? Here's a business that uses it in manufacturing. And we don't find out about it until your water uh, system is tested. She says Wisconsin should follow Minnesota's example and ban products made with PFAS. She says any bill should ensure the government pays for problems that towns did not cause.